Come on, listen, DJ! <laughs> Run for your life! <laughs> Weird medical contraptions, outdated practices, and tons of injuries. Today, we're reacting to Looney Tunes. All right, let's dive right in. All right, now, uh, open your mouth and say, ah. Uh... <laughs> There's actually a reason why we ask you to say ah. Uh. It actually lowers your tongue down to the bottom of the mouth so we can actually see back there. That looks pretty bad. I guess we'll have to paint it. Can't take chances with any of them streptococcuses, you know. Streptococcus. It's a type of bacteria. Staph and strep, the common things causing pharyngitis is actually the medical uh, term for strep throat. Now then, uh, let's test the reflexes. You can actually use the side of your hand, like sometimes I'll just do like a little karate chop right to the patella tendon, which is the one on your knee that gives a little bit of a reflex. 15 inches. No! Yeah, we don't measure how far the reaction is. Tell me, uh, do you see spots before your eyes? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Little bitty spots. Oh, you're in bad shape. Here. Look in this mirror and see for yourself. There are actually some really cool glasses out there. It'll actually take the image that you're seeing and turn it upside down. After a short period of time, your eyes will readjust and recenter it for you. That's what I was afraid Horoscope. of. See, your hormones is fighting with your capillaries. That's bad. <laughs> we use fluorescein, which is a yellow dye to check people's eyes. And then you can actually use fluoroscopy, which basically is continuous x-rays to look at the image. So that could be what this is. Hey, look there. Your A's are getting into your bloodstream. I don't know what A's and B's, B's are, but... Uh, You've yeah. got troubles, Mac. Don't despair, Doc. I've got a wonder drug here that'll make you as good as new. Oh, gosh. This'll give you a real lift. Just what you need. In the ER, we use nitroglycerin for two different disease processes. One, if you're having chest pain, or we call that angina, and it has to do with vasodilation. And then the other, congestive heart failure. This medicine works faster and better if you shake well after using what happens. We do have to worry about giving too much to somebody and actually you can cause hypotension or low blood pressure and you can totally bottom them out. Look at you have the jars of this medicine cabinet. It's just empty jars and they're all open containers. We got rules about that now. Everything has to be labeled. Hello, don't say it. What's up, Doc? Do. He said it. <laughs> What's up, Doc? Are you okay? You seem a little jittery. Jittery? I'm not jittery. If anyone's jittery, you're jittery. I'm not jittery. Caffeine can definitely cause you to be jittery, just like he's having a cup of coffee. But how much is too much? If you guys want to learn more about it, I'll put a link to a video I've done on caffeine in the description below. So, do I have a clean bill of health? Everything looks fine. Great. See you next year. Whoa, whoa. There is just one thing. Ba-boom. <gasps> I knew it. I knew you were hiding something. How long do I have? A year? A month? A day? Am I contagious? You should have a relationship with your doctor where you actually can go once a year if you're healthy. If you have more medical issues, you might need to be evaluated more frequently every couple months. And if I'm contagious, then those people need to know you owe it to them! I'm highly contagious! <laughs> Run for your life! <laughs> Why didn't you tell me sooner? What kind of a doctor are you? You're probably not even a real doctor. Oh my gosh, he's even saying it to his face. He's got his Syracuse University, pretty good. The caffeine and the jitters has just like totally got in the way. Syracuse? That's a basketball school. <laughs> I mean, they are good at basketball. I went to the University of North Carolina as an undergrad. I made it through, so I got a BS in biology. I was just going to say that I think you should stop drinking coffee for a while. You have too much caffeine in your system. It's what's making you so tense. Oh, yep. cut out coffee. No problem. <clears throat> you could probably just take this. Or you can actually order a new one from your university. Bugs Bunny is very high strung. Caffeine might be just setting him off. He might have PTSD, he might have anxiety. His thyroid might even be off. Come on, you're snoring. We call it sleep apnea, and the snoring is just the impeding of the airway. And a lot of times it could be related to your jaw. It could be related to excess tissue in your neck. All right, it looks like you've got a deviated septum. So, <laughs> If you were delivered naturally, or what we'll say is a vaginal birth, not a C-section, as we come out, our noses get smushed. And a lot of the times that can actually cause a deviated septum. 
It's when the deviated septum causes issues relating to breathing that you potentially want to see an ear, nose, and throat doctor to have septal surgery to open that up so you can actually breathe better. There is nothing wrong with my septum. What's a septum? It's what separates the right and the left side of the nose. Yours is too far to the right, which is causing your snoring. Can you fix it? Easily. It's a piece of cake, a very simple procedure. So Daffy Duck, he has the slurry speech. He has something called dysarthria, and it has to do with the abnormal speech. To fix that for him, you potentially would have to have some structural changes in the jaw itself. Oh, nice. Hey, I didn't hear you snore last night. I guess the procedure was a success. It'll be a success when these bandages come off and I show the world the new me. <laughs> when you even have like a nose job, you have to have like a nose splint place. Typically that's for a couple days, just like we would for a fractured bone. I'm going to put this chicken's characteristics into an experimental rabbit, thereby making the rabbit think that he is a chicken. One moment, gentlemen, and I will bring in the rabbit. Nice. Experimental rabbit number 46. Okay. Mm. What's up, Doc? What's up, Doc? <laughs> First, the art. Tick, 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 tick. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, watch, what? Uh, uh, Roger, and out. We're listening to the love dub sound, right? And then what we're also listening for is a murmur. So that's when you actually get turbulent blood flow going over the valves of your heart. And then you're also listening, obviously, for lung sounds. Nope, we got the big hammer. Oh my gosh. Now stick out your tongue. We'll see if it's coated. <laughs> Sometimes there's like thrush, where it's a overgrowth of fungus in the mouth. And then you always worry about like some other different types of bacteria that would be noticed on the tongue. You're also looking at the color. And most of the time, we want to look at the back of your throat. And two pair of pants, Doc. Oh, you got a whole outfit. Nice. Read the bottom line. Printed by the Allied Trades Council, Local 472. Wow, what good vision. I guess he was reading like the lower, lower one. Carrots potentially play a role in helping preventing or slowing down getting macular degeneration or cataract. Gee, this is pretty nice of you, Doc, showing me around the place. Hey, take it slow. I don't want to miss a thing. You won't. He's like optimizing his specimen to make sure it's like the, the perfect specimen. <laughs> Old school operating rooms were like this. And actually still in some teaching hospitals, there's observatory rooms uh, that are separate that people can watch the surgeries. An audience. Hey, what's the attraction, Doc? You are. You are. Yeah. Oh, Doc, you should have told me. I ain't prepared. In the field of medicine, we do a lot of experimental things, trying to push the envelope. So it's a little bit different today. A show that I actually did watch when I was a kid. If you guys enjoyed this, definitely check out this series right here. Binge watch it all for me. I appreciate it. And as always, make sure you subscribe, turn those bell notifications on, hit that like button. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.